So, another quick video based on a question in the Facebook group. If you could use filter when you were using Automix. And I was like, yes, of course you can. Uh, that would still work. So if you're running in Automix mode like this. Then your filtering still works, right? No problem. Uh, but that was not what he meant. He meant it wanted to happen on top of the automatic mixing here. Uh, when that ha happens, he wanted to have filter on top of that because he thought that happens in uh, maybe in, in DJI Pro by algorithm. So if that could be set up versus DJI 2. And yes, you can, but it, it's a little bit uh, a little trickier because you have to consider a few things. So uh, you probably know there's uh, already uh, mix effects in, uh, in virtual DJ that does stuff like this. They're not apparent in the pro layout, but if we go into the center layout, you can see it's right here, and it gives you something to choose from. So let's just set that to filter for now. So now when I uh, use the cross filter, it'll use filter, so something like this. Box here, if nothing's big. So you can clearly hear a filter is being added. But we don't want to be here, so let's go back to the pro layout. Uh, and I'm then map it here. Uh, so I can select it here instead. Uh, the command is simply uh, effect, mix effects. I'll put that in the video description. Uh, so that's actually the mix effect, and that works on the crossfader, right? Let's get, just get rid of this because this is not what we, we want to do. Uh, because we're talking about the auto mix. So, uh, what happens when you're in auto mix mode? Well, let's try it. Do the actual mix. And like you could probably hear, there was no mix effects. And what's that? Well, that's because the crossfade is not being moved, right? So, uh, so that won't automatically work. But how do we then get it to work? Well, we do that by using dual mode, because then the, the track, will go, uh, the automatic will go back and forth between the decks, and that uses the crossfader, and that makes, means that the mix effects are being triggered. So let's try doing that. So we have it down here, automix dual deck mode, yes. And now, instead of doing it, I'm just going to click some stuff over here to have fast mixing. So, let's listen to it now. You can probably tell there's a filtering going on, but let's just try some of the other uh, mix effects that's even clearer. So, echo. And it becomes even more clear if you turn down the deck you're mixing into. So let's try that. So that's a quick echo. Of course, if the mix is longer, the echo will be longer. Um, and of course, this needs to be turned up. Let's try a few more. So that was a reverb. New bro. Just badly notice it. Noise. That was clearly noticeable. So yeah, all these uh, mix effects work. And because they're part of Automix, they'll of course work depending on what this does, the Automix type they set up. So maybe if you're in smart mode, it'll do some longer mixing and it'll be more clear that it's actually doing this kind of, maybe filter, maybe noise, that's a lot, a lot of more form maybe than just the filter. But yeah, it will work. But you do need to be in dual duck mode for it to work because you're really just taking advantage of it happening uh, on the moving of the crossfader.